Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So an awesome artist on YouTube, Molly, sent me this piece. She wanted to do a collab. Um, and I'll put her channel down in the description. It's Molly's Artistry. And she sent me this gorgeous piece. And honestly, when I took it out of the box, I was like, oh, I don't even want to do anything to that. It's so pretty. Um, but she wanted to do a collab, so here we are. I'm going to uh, do a couple things, not a lot, but first things, uh, I thought I would add a little bit of the gilding um, along some of these gold parts, and then also we're going to do some resin work. So I'm going to get started with the gilding, and I am going to go ahead and speed this part up as I plan to take my time and go pretty slow on this. So here we go. So without changing the design too much, I basically just went in there and did some of the accenting with the gold. And now we're going to let that dry. And then we're gonna go in here with some resin. And I'm gonna look at it, but probably also maybe some mica flakes and whatnot. Um, just making the gold pop a bit more. So anyways, we will be back. Hey guys, so we're back. All the um, gilding is dry, and I'm going to now do some resin on here. I'm doing this in my bin because for whatever reason I have about a zillion flies in my studio right now. So this way I can cover it. The only problem with that is it's very difficult to get in here with the tripod in the way because this is a pretty big canvas. So I couldn't use my normal setup. Well, we're going to just do our best. So I'm starting by applying a clear coat of resin on here. And this is um, the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. I'm going to just torch this real quick. And I may end up doing more than one coat, but for now I'm just going to start with the one. And I'm just going to move this all around. And I think this will just make it really pop. I did not preheat my resin as much as I should have, so it's a little bit thicker than normal. I'm going to add some more. Okay. And it, you can always do this with like an offset spatula or a brush, etc. I usually just use my hands to keep the tool cleaning down to a minimum. But you are certainly welcome to use anything you like. A 
Okay. And I'm just making sure I got all the edges. Because there's nothing worse than having a beautiful flood coat, but then realizing you missed a spot. <laughs> Okay, good. And then what I also wanted to add a little bit of, although I haven't quite decided where, but I have the Stone Coat Countertops um, Gold Dust Metallic Powder here. So I thought that would add some nice accents. It is like a, a glitter, so it's it does sit on top. Um... I think I'm going to put a little in this corner. It shouldn't make a big difference in terms of like color or anything because it's pretty transparent. I'm just going to add a little as some accents over here. You can kind of see that in the camera. And I think I might even go through here. I'm definitely going to blend that in a bit more. <laughs> um, yeah. Just thought it could be cool to kind of add some accents. Now I know not everybody likes glitter. And personally, I'm not even the hugest glitter fan, so I will be keeping it to a minimum. But this stuff is just awesome, and it just makes an excellent accent without being too bold, I guess you could say, or distracting. Okay. That's a little better blended in, and it will kind of blend itself in a bit too. And then I'm going to just take the stick and make a little bit of just like lines. And this is going to be very transparent. When she sent me this, she basically said, do whatever you want to it. She didn't have any specific idea in mind. So it took me kind of a while to figure out what I might want to do with it. And then I also never know until I actually get started. Okay, I think we're good. I don't want to overdo that. So I'm going to go ahead and torch this again, and then we're going to put the top back on, and we're going to let it be, and hope that it dries beautifully. And if need be, I'll go and put another layer of resin, but hopefully just this one. Oops, sorry. Shook the tripod there. We'll come back and look, see how it looks when it's all dry. All right, here it is all dry. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, the gold did shift a little bit, which was uh, slightly disappointing, but I still think it looks awesome. And it's just transparent, so it doesn't block out any of the awesome painting underneath. Let's go ahead and do a bit of our close-up. Um, and I did pour the top layer of resin in such a way that, um, it did not go over the sides. So you can see there, we're kind of pulled away from the sides a little bit. So I will, I don't know, it really doesn't bother me, but I may, just for funsies, um, sand it down and put one more clear coat on there. But otherwise, I think it is gorgeous. 
This will be going back to Molly. Please, please, please go check out her channel. She's super sweet and does some great work. Link will be down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome collab. And I will see you next time.